So now we take a glimpse of life underneath an ocean right here in the desert. The biopark gave us exclusive access to its aquarium. Not only do we get up close with eels and turtles, World Day also shows us what it's like during feeding time with the sharks. It's 10 a.m. at the biopark shark aquarium. You may find yourself grabbing another cup of coffee at this time of day. But down here, it's time to eat. They're very well fed. There are seven different species of sharks, 18 altogether, in this 280,000 gallon tank. Watch as they zero in on that silver fish there and bite. But the people who work with these sharks have an unusual work hazard. They don't feed the sharks by hand because we don't want the sharks to associate the divers with food for obvious reasons. Aquarium director Holly Kassman says you may have seen this. More close calls with sharks again today. But she says sharks are respectful and get a bad rap. They're incredibly beautiful um, and they're very important to the ecosystem in the wild. And the fact is that up to 30 million sharks are killed every year by humans for shark fin soup. And just a handful of people are attacked by sharks worldwide. When the staff gets in the water, they feel at ease with the so-called ocean predators all around them. These sharks don't really touch the smaller fish. They all coexist. The tank is a beautiful and peaceful place and exciting. Holy shrimp, look at that fish. To Antonio Ruelas. Turtle, turtle. Oh, see that turtle right there. Here's an even closer glimpse of this makeshift ocean. It's also feeding time for the other fish. Clam feet, smelt, krill, even bok choy, all on the menu this day. Staff here describes this tank as a freeway. They're getting on and off the ramp, staying out of the way of hundreds of sea creatures swimming around. And stingrays, they appear to be everywhere. Damien Spencer, an Aquarius, describes what it's like when these flat, dark fish with white bellies surround him even sometimes eating right out of his hand. You kind of feel like you're in a little bubble, I guess. It's kind of weird. It's a dark little bubble, but usually all you see is their mouth. The stingrays in the wild suck in plants and then blow them back out. That's how they eat. These stingrays are doing the same thing in this tank, but with water. You just feel them blowing and sucking on here. It's, it's kind of weird. The sea turtles have a more stagnant approach. The staff comes to them. After all, they are really old turtles. Also in the tank, blowfish that are not shy, and some fish that appear to be picky eaters, and others with a smile only a mother could love. All of this water in the middle of the New Mexico desert. It's a deep, exotic gem waiting for you to sink your teeth into. In Albuquerque, Royal Day, KOAT Action 7 News. There was a lot of video we just could not fit into that story. You can get an extended look by opening the KOAT mobile app.